Welcome to In Case You Missed It, or ICYMI, where we share announcements and cool stuff that may have flown under the radar for OutSystems developers everywhere. Let's jump right in with the updates for February 2021. First up is a new addition to Workflow Builder, which provides the ability to preview form and case fields during development, so you can see how your form will look and act without having to republish your application. If you're not familiar with Workflow Builder, it's one of several new tools announced at last year's Next Step conference, along with Integration Builder and Experience Builder, that make it even faster to build beautiful and robust applications. Check the links below for more information about the new Workflow Builder preview feature and more about the other builders as well. OutSystems MVP Justin James has identified a potential problem, and thankfully, he's also ready with a solution. The problem comes when you use logic to provide a catch-all else or otherwise condition when using an if or switch widget, and subsequently add more options that accidentally fall into that catch-all bucket. This can lead to issues and confusion, but Justin also has an elegant solution. Check the link below to find out how you can avoid this issue using Justin's favorite little code pattern. The technical knowledge team has been busy in February, releasing a bunch of improvements and updates, including adding human voice to all courses in the guided path training, improved documentation for ML Builder and Architecture Dashboard, new documentation for custom service workers in PWAs, as well as troubleshooting docs, and white papers for enterprise ecosystems, including integrating out systems with your ecosystem, and more. See the links below for all the details on what's new and updated. In our last episode, we mentioned the Build for the Future hackathon, which featured more than a dozen teams from OutSystems partners competing to build the best solutions for three nonprofit organizations. The hackathon is now complete, and the judges have made their decisions. And the winners are Everest Social Reload Team, who provided the winning solution for the South American nonprofit Center for Community Technologies, focused on helping people in rural areas to detect early signs of cancer. Phoenix DX Champions team, who provided the winning solution for Zero Hunger for Malaysia, a platform for more efficient food delivery to those in need. And Drakkar Pay It Back team, who provided the winning solution for Strength United, a California-based nonprofit for helping survivors of domestic violence. Our thanks to all the partners who invested their time, skills, and heart for building apps that make a difference. Next, I'd like to turn things over to my teammate Sydney Lai for an exciting announcement about a project near and dear to her heart. Sydney, take it away. Andrew, thanks so much for the shout out. Hey everyone, my name is Sydney Lai and I'm the host of Decoded. Decoded is a podcast brought to you by OutSystems where we explore technical conversations relevant for the next generation of developers. In season two, we're gonna explore all different sorts of builds. We're gonna talk to engineers from Slack, AWS, GitHub, and really understand how were those applications built What's the origin story? What is their tech stack? You're gonna be able to find the show in the links below. And with every episode that we release in season two, you're also gonna find a video or a technical document that complements each episode of the podcast. Feel free to join in and we're really excited that you get to be a part of the journey. I'm gonna pass this on to Krish. Thanks, Sydney. So here I am once again for a quick roundup of 40 components that were submitted this month. And let's begin with approval widget. So this is a cool component that can help you uh, implement approval flows in your application because it encapsulates all the complex logic that you can have in an approval process into a web block. And if you go into the components documentation, you can find a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to configure and include it in your application. So it should be quick and easy to do this. Just take a look at the component because it can really help you with approval processes in your application. Next up, we have the multi-theme reactive component, which can help you give your users, your end users, the preference of choosing how your application looks for them. So for example, if you want to present the option of a user choosing between dark and light theme, you can do this with, with this component. And if you have an application that needs to have a specific look and feel for um, a specific end user or a specific company or group of users, you can configure those type of settings with this component. And last but not least, we have the OutSystems low code exercises, which is a different one uh, of what we are used to, but it's a very cool one because it's a list of implementation exercises for you to keep going with your coding juices or just refresh your memory. So this is a list that is separate by difficulty and by focus areas. And if you want just to train some kind of pattern, uh, implementing some UI pattern or a specific use case, 
this could be a very good helpful component for you to get going. That's it. Make sure to experiment with this month's suggestions, rate, give feedback, collaborate. If you have feedback, give them to the owners because they really appreciate it and that's how we can improve our components. So once again, thank you uh, to the owners of these components, to everyone that keeps maintaining, uh, giving feedback, collaborating, reviewing components in our OutSystems Forge because that's how we can keep Forge a valuable place for everyone. Thank you so much. See you on the next month. Did you enjoy this roundup of new announcements and things you might have missed? Give us a like and subscribe to the OutSystems YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you're sure to get notified for the next episode of In Case You Missed It. Thanks for watching. <laughs>